Knee arthritis is a common cause of pain and functional disability in this country. The knee is made up of the end of your thigh bone or femur, the top of the tibia or shin bone, and the back of the kneecap or patella. Where these three bones come together, they're covered with cartilage, which is like the gristle on the end of a chicken bone, and gives the joint a smooth, glistening surface. When those surfaces wear away, that's what's meant by osteoarthritis or degenerative joint disease or wear and tear arthritis. The joint lining will swell up in response to that and give patients arthritic symptoms. Early on, anti-inflammatory medications, injections, physical therapy, and in certain cases, braces may help. In patients where the joint is not completely worn down to the bone and that have mechanical symptoms, sometimes arthroscopic surgery may be indicated, which is where we look into the joint with a scope and a tool and can take out torn pieces of cartilage and fragments. When it, the patient is beyond any of those treatments and has symptoms that warrant surgical intervention, a total knee replacement may be considered. Most total knee replacements consist of placing new surfaces on the ends of the bones. So in this model, ignore these screws. That's just holding my model together. Here's the end of your thigh bone or femur, the top of your tibia or your shin bone. And this tendon holds your kneecap or patella. Where those three bones come together, that's what makes up your knee. And these represent your ligaments. When these surfaces wear out, that's what's meant by osteoarthritis or degenerative joint disease. So with a knee replacement, what we do is place a new surface on the end of your femur or thigh bone, a new surface on top of your tibia or shin bone, and place this fancy plastic in between, which is an ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. We also place a new surface on the back of your kneecap, not the whole kneecap, just the back side. And now, there's no place that the bones are rubbing together. That type of total knee replacement takes me about an hour. You're usually in the hospital for two or three nights. You'll need a walker for a week or two and then a cane for a few weeks. Once you're healed, you can typically walk and swim and bike and golf and carry on and do what you feel like doing. There are risks to the surgery. Like with any surgery, there's a small risk of having a problem with the anesthetic. There's also a risk of a blood clot or an infection. Although these are rare, we give you special medication to help protect against that. There are other anesthetic alternatives. You don't have to go to sleep for it. Some patients have an epidural shot in their back like what a woman has when she has a baby. So either one of those are possibilities.